Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome back to Backyard Buckets. Today, we are talking about the Phoenix Suns and their 2020-2021 season, what to expect, and possibly, you know, if we're a prophet, you could be seeing what's going to happen. But yeah, we're talking about the Phoenix Suns today. Um, but first, if you're new here, make sure to like and subscribe, liking us video out in the YouTube algorithm. And it helps us get our video out there to more people. Subscribing, obviously, helps us grow our channel. First, we're doing the depth chart. Uh, all these uh, depth chart stuff is from ESPN. So if there's anything wrong with it, if you've got some inside information, let me know about it down in the comments below. We got Chris Paul at the point guard position. Uh, obviously coming over from the Oklahoma City Thunder. He'll be a Really, really good asset for them. Obviously, he's Chris Paul. He is 35, though, going from 36. If he's not 36 already, I do believe he's 35, though. So it'll be interesting. You know, obviously, they got Devin Booker. They still got DeAndre Ayton. They still got McCall Bridges. Or NJ Crowder. They got Cam Johnson. Larry Sarge. We'll talk about all those guys here in just a couple of minutes. But yeah, Chris Paul, uh, he's going to be probably the best point guard that Phoenix has had in a while. Probably since Steve Nash. Uh, at the two, got Devin Booker. Absolute steal a few years ago in the draft. Uh, and he's just been a beast ever since he came to Phoenix. Obviously, the highlight coming when he scored 70 on the Boston Celtics. He's just been an absolute star for Phoenix especially in the past couple three years at the three they got McCall Bridges who's starting to come on as a really good wing piece uh, at the four they got Jay Crowder another three and D guy Jay Crowder and McCall Bridges two really good three and D guys really really good three and D guys uh, I really like the roster construction here that the Suns have done because they got Chris Paul point guard floor general distributor he can also score and he can play good defense Devin Booker one of the most pure scores in the NBA not so great at defense but still you know he can work on it we'll call Bridges 3 and D Jay Crowder 3 and D and then you got the big guy the big fella down low DeAndre Ayton uh, he needs to you know be absolute stud this year obviously they won a game and then he got tested for PEDs, so or and he was out for 25 games, so he's hoping that doesn't happen again this year. But you never know. Backup one campaign. The tank commander. Hopefully he won't be in charge of any more tanks this year. At the two, we got each one more coming over from the New Orleans Pelicans. At the three, we got Cam Johnson, who really started to come on. A lot of people were questioning why they took him with basically the sixth pick in the draft. Uh, but he's he's looked really good last year in the bubble. Really good. Uh, and he'll continue to try to improve upon that, obviously. He could probably be their sixth man this year. At the four off the bench, they got Dario Saric. Uh, really good piece there off the bench. And at the five, they got Jalen Smith. 10th overall pick, I do believe, in this year's draft. So the 3, 4, and 5 for them off the bench are really, really good pieces. Also got Javon Carter, who you could see slide in there and take over the backup point guard role from campaign. Javon Carter, pretty good backup point guard in the league. Uh, and then we got Damian Jones. Javon Carter and Damian Jones will also get some minutes. My projection for the Phoenix Suns. Somewhere between the five and nine seed. Obviously, I think they're a lock for the play-in tournament, but it seems like Chris Paul teams always do better than expected. And now you're teaming Chris Paul up with Devin Booker. Um, correct me if I'm wrong. Well, never mind. He had James Harden. I was gonna say, he hadn't really played with as good of a shooting guard as Devin Booker in his career, but he's played with James Harden, so I don't know looked like an absolute idiot if I said that but Devin Booker obviously really good uh depending on how long they can stay together you know D-Book he 
with a good point guard, he can be an absolute superstar. Uh, so that always something to look for. But my projection somewhere between the five and nine seed, probably the six or seven. I Man, but you can definitely see him. At least I can getting up to the five seed. Also, I think it could just go horribly wrong because they're the Suns, and they could have. End up as a nine seed. The playoff ceiling for the Suns team is the Western Conference semifinals. I could see them beating, you know, maybe the Nuggets or like the Blazers or somebody. I could see that happening. That's not out of the possibilities. I mean, you got Chris Paul and Devin Booker. I don't think people realize how lethal that duo is going to be. And then you got the defense of McCall Bridges and Jay Crowder to go along with Chris Paul. Uh, and then you just got DeAndre Ayton down low being an absolute stud. So it's. This team, I'm telling you, they're going to surprise people. Uh, but yeah, my playoff ceiling for them, Western Conference semifinals. The X factor is DeAndre Ayton. If he can take uh, that next step and become an absolute super mega star, well, not, not even that. He just has to become a star and give them good numbers every night. They'll be a really, really good team in the West, I think. Final notes for the Phoenix Suns, a team that is very interesting. Like I said, got Chris Paul, got the three and D guys. Even off the bench, they got that with Etwan and Cam Johnson, uh, even Javon Carter. I, I'm really high on this team. I think this is one of the biggest sleepers in the NBA this year. I know I said that about a couple teams, but this Phoenix Suns team is legit, um, and I think they're going to surprise a lot of people, especially with a veteran point guard, TP3 think they were a step away in that sense and adding Jay Crowder uh, mm, watch out I mean like I said earlier Chris Paul's team always surprises people I think he's still underrated uh, so yeah Phoenix get excited but yeah that'll be it for today's video make sure to like and subscribe if you're new here uh, like I said earlier liking really helps YouTube video out in the algorithm algorithm and subscribe if you're new thanks for watching